Jennifer Aniston and Justin Thoreau split. What went wrong? Plus, Captain America doesn't have Black Panther tickets, but we got a pair of tickets to Nal Horn and Marin Morris to give away. Guys, a not so happy Friday. Jen Aniston and Justin Thoreau announced late Thursday, it's over and forgive me for the dramatics, but will Jen ever find her lobster? More importantly, do you think she'll go back to Brad Pitt? Most of the internet seems to think so. One fan tweeted, somewhere Jennifer Aniston is crafting her, hey, let's grab coffee and catch up text to Brad Pitt. One thing we do know, Jen and Justin told ET in a statement, their separation was a mutual decision and they remain best friends. But apparently the split was actually a long time coming. A source tells ET the major issue was location. Justin loves New York and Jen is comfortable in LA, as am I. Quote, Jen's a homebody. She likes hosting friends and staying in. Am I Jen Aniston? All right, the other major factor, paparazzi. Source tells ET Jen was constantly hounded by photographers in New York. So much so, it became an issue at home in their West Village apartment. It even angered the neighbors. According to the source, the final straw for Jen came when Justin's motorcycle was vandalized, covered in baloney. Jen assumed an angry neighbor did it. The source explained, quote, she just never really could get settled in. She wasn't happy in New York City. But yes, it is hard to ignore that Jennifer and her one-time love, Brad Pitt, are now both single. But a source tells ET that they are absolutely not together. However, as the source put it, you can't predict the future. Let's also keep in mind, Brad isn't officially divorced from Angelina, so cool your jets. Whew, how's that for some tea? Speaking of, let's grab a cup now with uh, Lauren Zima to talk British royalty. Oh, yes. Thank you, Denny. You're welcome. You know, if you guys love all the dirt on celebrity couples that Denny brings you, I, you I am going to be spilling the royalty as we count down to the royal wedding. I see what you did there. Uh, each week on YouTube, we are diving deep into Meghan Markle's future as Prince Harry's wife. Going to give you guys mm. everything you need to know about the biggest wedding in modern history. It's every Friday on ET's YouTube channel. We are spilling the royalty. Cheers. Cheerio. Cheerio. Oh, Thank shameless you. plug. <laughs> Actually, you guys should watch it. It's really fun. All right. Moving on to the hottest ticket in Hollywood. I'm talking about Black Panther, which just hit theaters. The film has been getting rave reviews and has already made, get this, over $25 million just from Thursday showings in the U.S. This is the second best Thursday showing for a Marvel movie after Avengers Age of Ultron. We actually just caught up with Avengers star Chris Evans, who plays Captain America, and he says he can't wait to see it. I was just watching some stuff last night about it. I mean, it, it is it is a wave. It is powerful. Brian just said he saw it the other night. I can't wait to go see it. I'm gonna wait till it dies down a little bit. Chadwick's a good buddy. I mean, he's he's so fantastic. And and from what I've heard, people who've seen the film, he really knocks it out of the park. Big weekend for the movies and new music. It's Friday, and you guys know what that means. Let's talk new stuff in the music world. Drake dropped the new video for his track, God's Plan, and with a budget of nearly $1 million, they gave it all away. Anything you guys want in the store is free, so oh, grab whatever you guys want. I don't want to die for them to miss me. Yes, I see the things that they wishing on me. Hope I got some brothers that outlive me. They gon' tell the story shit was different with me. God's Plan. God's Plan. Now, while Drake is making it rain bills, Ellie Golden is making my eyeballs rain with this hauntingly beautiful cover of Vincent. Starry, starry night. Flaming flowers that brightly blaze. Swirling clouds and violet haze. Reflecting Vincent's eyes of china blue. Colors changing hue. Morning fields of amber green, weathered faces lined in pain are soothed beneath the artist's loving hand. I feel like crawling into a ball of my feelings. Okay, but we we do have to end on a high note though, and it doesn't get more lit than Sean Paul, David Guetta, and Becky G's new collab, Mad Love. In the white sea, when me walk for your dark, me hide the punchy, precise and exact. Good Lord, girl. So 
So those are our new Music Friday picks of the week, but that weren't enough. We got a little surprise for you guys. ET Online is giving away a pair of tickets and sound check passes to the Nile Horan and Marin Morris tour in the US city of your choice. All you have to do is visit etonline.com slash giveaway to see a complete list of rules and officially enter by midnight Friday, February 23rd. And that's it guys, etonline.com slash giveaways. All right, thanks so much for watching this week. We are off on Monday, but we'll see you on Tuesday. So go enjoy your weekend. Listening to Mad Love maybe, little Sean Paul.